what we want to know now is when does the next picture start? That's the main thing. How about it, Mike? A little patience. Oh, that's just This is the end of your life. Oh, that's adorable. Now, now, wait a minute, boys. We must have patience. Now, just a minute. Oh, enough. But you told us to come and now, that's not Mr. Ivansky. I'm sorry I made a mistake. I'm entitled to change my mind. Am I not? Yes, I know. Boys, I'm very sorry. But you definitely told us to be... Yes, I know. I'm very sorry. Some other time. Thank you. What's the matter? Listen, Apple, listen to me. We made great pictures together, terrific successes. But now I'm looking into the future. We must go on to better things. You can't top oomph with oomph. What do you mean? Oh, in our next picture, there is no oomph connected with it. The girl must have a soul. She must be deep, sincere. And how do you get that? I've decided. You've got to have a baby. A baby? I have to have... Exactly. This is the only thing. Believe me, my darling, there is nothing so beautiful, so fundamental, so... Now, wait a minute, Yvonne, please. I've done everything you wanted me to for two years. I've posed in bathing suits in the middle of December. I've ridden wild horses. I've collected Russian wolfhounds. And I've even been the sweetheart of the Orange Growers Association. But I'm telling you right now, Yvonne, I'm not going to have a baby. You will. I will not. Make up your mind. My mind's made up, and that's that. Very well. Very well. The end has begun. You no longer trust in me. And this is goodbye. I go. But you will have a baby. Uh, Miss Riley. Yes, Mr. Ivansky. We've got to get a baby. But definitely. What's more important, we've got to get it by train time. Oh, this is ridiculous. There must be a way. What a chicken. Baby, baby. <gasps> I got it. You get it. Where am I going to get a baby in Chicago? And what kind of a lug do you think I... Lug. Lug. I think I've got it. You know a baby? Yeah. He's six foot two. Can't use him. Quiet, please. Hello, operator. Uh, get me the Roundhouse Cafe. He's an old boyfriend of mine who works on the Pennsylvania Railroad. If he's not married or dead, he's a cinch to help us. Hello? Is Mr. Maurice Monaghan there? Just a minute. Oh, Mike. What do you want? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Telephone, Mike. Is it important? I don't know. Who is it? A dame. A dame? Yeah. Like I always said, dames is poison. Hello. Who? Oh, hello. When did you get in? Oh, I just the second took off my hat. Oh, no. Uh... We're leaving this afternoon on the Broadway Limited. On the Limited? Why, that's my train. I'm the engineer. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, uh, Maurice, darling, would you do me a little favor? Oh, anything for you, honey. You know that. Why, I'd give you my arm right up to there. You've got to have a baby. You what? Oh, for a press stunt to go to New York. And you want me to get it? Oh, thanks, darling. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Oh, and just one more thing. We must have it by train time. That ain't for a couple of hours yet. Sure, sure. That gives me plenty of time. I'll see you later. Goodbye. My baby. Oh, my God. Good wine. Can I get you something? Yeah, get me a baby. A baby? I mean a cup of coffee. Lou. You haven't got a baby, have you? I ain't even married. Why? A friend of mine wants to get hold of one. To take to New York for a press time. That's 500 bucks in it. I know a baby about 18 would like to take a trip to New York. Say, Bert, 
What's this gag about the baby? It ain't a gag. It's for a friend of mine. She's a press agent for a movie star. It's the movie star that wants the kid. Oh, and so they're going to take it to New York, huh? Yeah. And like I say, there's 500 bucks in it. That's a lot of money. Stick around a minute. I think I can help you. Hey, who's that mug? Who knows? I never saw him before. Anything else? Yeah, give me another cup. Coming right up. Say, you must like coffee. I do. But well, I wouldn't drink so much hot water just to get a little. Say, here, Mr. Monahan. Thank you. Okay, buddy. I got just what you're looking for. Come on, let's take a walk. Swell. How much do I owe you? Save it. Thanks. Gee, if you can get me out of this jam, I'll be a friend of yours for life. Right after here. You haven't got a thing to worry about. Everything is taken care of nice and pretty. Union Station. Yes, sir. Oh, it's beautiful, wonderful, superb. This will give you what you need, not the jitterbug kind of love that oomph business. Visualize yourself in your own little bungalow before your flickering fireplace. Your little baby in your arms, your young husband by your side. This is the love of real people, honest, sincere, down to earth. Believe me, darling, this is basic, fundamental. The life nations are built on. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Can you hold on this side? Soft smile with warmth. That's enough, gentlemen. That's enough. Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly. You're sitting in the Wonderful. Beautiful. Well, there you are. Okay. Thanks. Lots of luck. Please, gentlemen, please, Mr. Main, it's higher. What are you going to New York for this trip, Mr. Main? Oh, it's just the usual thing, you know, a little vacation before her next trip. How about it, Mr. Main? Thank you very much, gentlemen. We'll be seeing you. As I said before, I love your fair city. Chicago, adieu. Hold it, Mr. Ivanki. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Ball. Why not? I'm so sorry. That's all right. Pardon me. 
Oh, uh, janitor. Do you see many motion pictures? Yes, sir, whenever I can. Did you see the Scarlet Lady? Yes, sir. Do you remember who the star was in it? Yes, sir, Miss April Tremaine, the hoop girl. She's on this train, isn't she? Yes, ma'am, she sure is. Right in there. Oh, thank you so much. What a small world this is. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, why, Miss Papa? Well, you've had us a little worried. We thought possibly you'd miss the train. Oh, no. I wanted to catch a train all my life and finally did. Is Miss Tremaine? Uh, yes, sir. She's being prettied up. Uh, by the way, have you met Mr. Ivansky yet? Oh, no, but I'd like to. Well, believe it or not, he can't wait to meet you. Oh, really? Oh, Patsy. Yes, we... Oh, uh, just a moment. Uh, look, Miss Pottle, this is Mr. Ivansky's compartment. You just go in and take a seat, and uh, I won't be a minute. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So? Oh, excuse me. She told me. Excuse you? I don't even know who you are. I'm. Never mind. Don't. Why should I care who you are? Get out. Oh dear, but I'm Miss Pato. Pato, what to, what to, what do I care? Get out. I. Please get out. your baby cries, William, give him some of this. Ought to fix him up. Yes, sir, doctor. Thank you, sir. May I have a glass of milk, please? Yes, ma'am. Might I have your autograph? Why, Harvey! Sure. Remember me? Lad that used to breathe down the back of your neck during math class? You mean the short, fat one with the curly hair? That's the <laughs> same one. How are you, Mary? I'm fine, Harv, but... Come on, let's sit down. I want to take a good look at you. Well, I might let you have a little peek. Tell me, Harv, how's the doctor business? Picking up. Bendix here, tonsil there, it all adds up. Say, why didn't you ever write to me? You know how it is. Well, after all, you're the famous April Tremaine, and me, well, I'm just a struggling young doctor with too much future and not enough present. You know, just plain folks. And what difference does that make? Hey, what are you doing, whipping up a nine-course dinner? Oh, dear, the baby, I forgot. The baby? Yeah, come on, maybe you can help. What's the matter with it? Well, you're the doctor. Why, oh, Patsy, do you feel all right? Not anymore, I don't. Well, what are you doing that for? Every time I quit, he howls. Yeah, I mean... Ah! Oh. Here, let 
let me have him. Yeah. Oh, come on, Paula. This is Dr. North. Dr. North? Oh, uh, how do you do? How do you do? I, uh, pardon me. Certainly. Hello, huh? Is that the fellow you were telling me about? That's the one. It's kind of cute, isn't he? Oh, I think so. Still go for him? Oh, Patsy and how? You know. You know what? Well, I think Yvonne has something there. Home, babies, young husband. Yeah? The, did you say husband? Uh, that's what I thought you said. Well, excuse me. I got... Uh, excuse me. That is, I, uh, uh, well, uh, uh... Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, Mr. Ivansky, really? Yeah. Come in. And then, uh, in the third view, he gives her a kiss. Deep, with war, with feeling. A kiss like only I, Ivan Mikhailovich Ivansky, can direct. Well, what do you want? I have to see you. It's very important. There's nothing so important as my art. Oh, yes, there is. April. April? Oh, will you excuse me? We'll, we'll listen later when we left off. Yes, I have to tidy up. Yes, you go tidy Such up. Such generosity. Come yes. on. So what's with April? Do you know that she's got a boyfriend? So what? Some of the best people have boyfriends. I forgive her. Did you say boyfriend? Yes, the one she almost married before you came along. Stop worrying. I pushed him out of her life. Well, somebody's pushed him back in again. And if you're interested, he's in there with her now. Impossible. He's in there? Yes, and that isn't all. You remember that stuff you told her in the taxi about a home and babies, a young husband? Yes, 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 yes. So what? Well, she's beginning to believe you. Believe me? Nonsense. She can't do that to me. What rights has he got to be in there? Think of my next picture. Think of my pride. If I were you, I'd start thinking about my pocketbook. What's with the pocketbook? What's that got to do with it? Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. But if she happens to marry the guy, you wouldn't have any star to direct. You mean... You think it's possible? Mm -hmm. Could be. Fantastic. I've heard enough. We've got to get him out, but definitely. Come on. This time I'll do it. And when I do it, I've done it. Just think what we've been missing all these years. Uh-huh. Come on, darling, just once more. Oh, Harvey, isn't it wonderful? It sure is. It's a blitzkrieg! Oh, I wish his mother had come by. Well, that wasn't his mother. Oh, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, you know something? He's got eyes just like yours. You think so? Uh-huh. Say, whose baby is this? Oh, I don't know. It's just a press stunt. Press stunt? Yeah, publicity gag. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? Well, I don't know what to believe. Well, he even looks like you. Now, wait a minute. This isn't my idea. Mr. Ivansky thought it up. It's just a gag. A gag? Yes. Oh, now, look, honey. Let's just start all over again now. Uh, tell me the truth. Hello, darling. And how do you feel after your strenuous day? Well, here's somebody that'll tell you the truth. <laughs> Yvonne, this is Dr. North. Pleasure. How do you do? I just told Dr. North that this baby is a publicity stunt. He doesn't seem to believe me. Publicity stunt? Well, now, my darling, after all, you put me in a very embarrassing position. Why, this is ridiculous! No, 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 please don't excite yourself. Oh, a publicity stunt, eh? If you don't mind, I'll go back and finish my drink. Why, I never heard of such a thing. Now, believe me, darling, this is for your own good. But positively, one day you'll thank me. I'll thank you right now to get out of my life. Well, <laughs> the situation is saved. I did it again. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I must relax. Here, here, you double-crosser. This was your idea. Now, you take care of it. Well, start relaxing. Hmm? What do you say? No, 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 never mind. Green on top. Six forty-three. Right on the nose. Yard limit. Yard limit. 
Get back to Chicago, throw these in my lock. Okay, Romeo. That's me. <laughs> See you in a couple of weeks. Now take it easy. Hey, you might need your other shirt. Hey, ain't you getting kind of fancy there? I'm on the dirt for a couple of weeks. I'm riding a through to New York. With his girl. With his what? My girl. Do you want to make something of it? All aboard. Hey, all aboard. There you are, sir. Hey. This is swell. Menu, sir. I'll order later. I'm waiting for a lady. Yes, sir. Class. Hi. What's your name? Satisfactory, sir? Be fine, thanks. Sorry. You want to push me around for the last Nick, next week? Next, you want to cut your own throat? Remember, Pop? Oh, is this lovely? Oh, lovely isn't the word. Pardon me. Harvey, you're being absolutely childish. Don't see what's childish about it. Just don't like being fooled, that's all. Pardon. But I'm not trying to fool you. There's two schools of thought on that subject. Listen, Harvey, I told you what this was. What else can I do? Would you mind? You might try telling the truth for a change. But I have told you the truth. Okay, that's your story. You stick to it. Listen, would you mind letting me out of this argument? Well, go ahead, go ahead. Who's stopping you? Let's just forget about the whole thing. I don't want to forget it. I'm not the baby's mother. I'm not the mother. I told you that a dozen times. Now, won't you believe me? No. All right. Have it your way. I am the mother. Now, are you happy? No. Who's the father? Oh, you make me so... He is. Good evening, Mr. Ivansky. My friends are over there. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Well, darling, uh, you... Uh, it's a baby. I'll take care of you later. Knock those store teeth right down your throat. So what's with him? Oh, he's... he's a little bit upset. You know, you told him I was the baby's mother. Mm -hmm. Well, I told him you were the father. Me? The father? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I'm going to my room. Contact me in New York. You can't order Mr. Hamlet's Anything wrong? Nothing's wrong. Everything is wrong. 
Well, I guess we took care of him, didn't we? She's going to knock my teeth down my throat. Where is that porter? My store teeth down my throat. I like to see him do. Where is that porter? Who is it? It's the porter, sir. You must stop this train. I'm getting out. Sir? I'm getting out. Stop the train. But this train don't stop no more until we get out to... Oh, listen, listen. For a red light, you'll stop the train, don't you? Well, uh, yes, sir. Well, ain't I as important as a red light? Uh, I guess so. Well? Well, maybe I better talk to the conductor about this. Well, come in. Yes. <laughs> come in. Yes. Pardon me. Uh, uh, who is it? This is Dr. North. I want to see you. He ain't in. Besides, he's very sick. I said I wanted to see you. Open this door. Well, I'll tell him when he comes back. If you don't open this door, I'm going to break it in. It, it, it won't be necessary. Can't you see? I'm coming. Don't, don't, don't strike me. It's about time you and I had a little talk. Talk? <laughs> Certainly. Besides, I have something to tell you, too. Uh, come here. There's something I want to tell you, too. No, no, please, me first. Now, I, Ivan Mikhail Chibansky, will tell you the truth. And this is official. I am the one which arranged it. Just what I heard. No, 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 you don't understand. I am not the baby's father, and she is not the baby's mother. Oh, what? For publicity for her next picture. Oh, I guess I've been an awful sap. No question about it. Did somebody want to get off this train? Get off? <laughs> now, who would want to get off a beautiful train like this? Thank you very much, Mr. Conductor. Thank you very kindly. See you later. Thank you. Nice fellow. But how did you know there was a freight car on the track? Because I looked out the window and saw a paddle. A paddle? A paddle's a light signal. A light signal? Why didn't you say so? Hey, Jerry! Jerry Mulligan, driving the 281. Don't think he saw me. He probably heard you. I don't think he could have, do you? Look, Miss Pato, let's go in and see if we can help April with the baby. Oh, dear, yes. I just love babies. You must tell me more about the railroad business. There ain't any more. Look, come along, Dick. Come. I'll see you in the observation car later. Yes, but put that quiz program to bed first, will you? I think you got something there. This seat's reserved. Yes, sir. Do you wish to order? Oh, I'll take care of that later. I'm waiting for a lady. Yes, sir. Hey, buddy. Buddy. How do you know the day come out? They won. What's call? Six to nothing. Who made the touchdown? Here, you take it. Well, the odds that it won't take long to get the guy that pulled that snatch. Huh? The person kidnapped us. Oh. His molded left shoulder. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Believed heading east. You know, the last snatch case they had in Chicago, they got the guy in three weeks. They hung him. They gave 177 years to his accomplice. His what? His accomplice. You know, the guy that helped him. Of course, he said he was just driving the car and didn't know that the kid was hot. But they made it stick. And they'll bring in this mob, too. 177 years. 
Yeah. Well, uh, you got a match. No thanks, I don't smoke. I've heard Ren through of the mountain. He's on the radio at 9 o'clock. I haven't missed him in 47 weeks. The lady, there's a swell radio in the cocktail lounge. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I couldn't go there alone with all those men. Well, she can go with you. Yeah, but, oh, that would be lovely. Oh, yes. I've always wanted to meet Ren through. Well, hurry. We've only got one minute. Yeah, but uh, somebody's got to take care of the baby. I'll take care of him. Say, what about our date? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Have a good time. Yeah. Have a good time. With the That's right. <laughs> kind of a cute kid, ain't he? <laughs> I was just trying to cover him up. So I noticed. If you need any help, I'll be right out here. Oh, thank goodness. You're right. It is Renfrew. Stand where you are, Jack Dalton, and you'd better reach for the sky. No, you don't, Renfrew. I've been saving this 45 slug just for you. Oh, oh Renfrew, are you hurt? It's never you. touched me. Oh, Renfrew, Shh. darling, you've saved me from a fate too horrible to think about. I don't know how to reward you. Ridding the country of a skunk like that is reward enough, Melinda. But surely... That no, soft light I see dancing in your eyes. Renfrew, darling, you may kiss me. Will Renfrew kiss Melinda? Listen in at the same time tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, for the further adventures of Renfrew of the Mounted, presented each weekday evening by the makers of... Her. I really don't. Honest, I don't. <laughs> well, we'll know tomorrow night anyway. I can hardly wait. Say, what are you doing here? The baby. Is it all right? That's what I've come to tell you about. You mean you walked out on him? Well, I'll take care of him. I really ought to go to bed anyway. Oh, I wouldn't think of it, Miss Potwell. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Say, what ails you? I was just thinking. Do you always perspire when you think? No, 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 Pat. Look. It's about that kid. Ah, oh, you were a sweetheart to get that baby for us. You know, I think I'm beginning to go for you. Yes, yes, yes. That's nice. That's swell. But the baby is a mole. Um, what's that got to do with my going for you? Or aren't you interested? Sure I am. You know I am. I was reading in the papers. Oh, if you want to keep this conversation strictly impersonal, all right. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I'm worried. About what? 177 years. What are you mumbling about? A guy don't live to be any more than 60 or 70, does he? Well, how could he serve 177 years? That's what I've been trying to tell you. And I've been trying to tell you something, too, Mr. Monaghan. But if you're not in the mood, I guess you're not in the mood. Good night. Patsy. What do you want? Is that really your face? Excuse me, buddy. I'll let this to mind. Ah, uh, friendship is a wonderful thing. Now that we have a perfect understanding, you feel better and I feel better. Yeah, sure, sure. How about a drink? No, 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 thank you. I don't drink after dinner. No. But don't let it stop you. Oh, no, no, thanks. I don't drink after dinner either. Oh. Excuse me. Девочка влюбила мальчика. Мальчик влюбил девочку. Я все хорошо понимаю. Ты где же ridiculous? Oh, but listen, kiddo, I've apologized. Oh, sure, sure, you've apologized. Oh, I don't know what I could have been thinking about. It's been so long that, well, just seeing you again sort of... Pardon me if I seem to intrude. But it's quite all right. I was leaving anyway. Oh, but honey, please. Oh, wait. Now, no, no, wait, I... no, wait, my young friend. We must have a talk. Yeah, about what? About Miss Tremaine and you. Sit down, please. Sit down. Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? 
Dr. Harvey North, that's who. And what does that mean? I don't expect you to understand. It means ten years of study and sweat and sacrifice. Of working for humanity instead of for audience. It means that someday I'm going to have the finest clinic that science can dream up. A place where I can patch up youngsters the way you patch up film. Hmm. It's nice. That's very nice. And what would such clinic cost? $50,000, I could build a pip. Mm -hmm. And how much have you got now? If somebody would suddenly hand me $75, I'd have an even hundred. So, you would ask her to give up her future, her career, for this, this silly thing you call love. Hmm? Would you do that to her? Believe me, my young friend, you too, it won't work. Oh, you are right, all right. You don't have to blueprint it for me. I can figure it out for myself. Giving up a girl like that isn't so easy. But I guess you're right. When was I wrong? She's not for me. Believe me, my young friend, it is best you do not see her anymore. That'll make it easier for her. You must stay out of her life, but completely. Okay, you win. Good. We're shaking that. One thing, just don't you try any tricks. Me? With me, it's strictly business. Mm I was wondering if I could borrow your paper. Oh, sure. Help yourself. Thanks. See, Mike, would you mind giving me a hand with my suitcase? I can't get it open. Well, sure. Sure. That's all right. I didn't tell him at all. Oh, dear. Oh, please. Oh, you mustn't. <laughs> oh, not here. After all, I hardly know you. Oh, dear. Oh, please. Oh, 
<laughs> well, if you insist. <laughs> you may kiss me, Renfrew. Why did he go? He went that way. Oh. I hardly know what to say. Oh, I'm... I know just how you feel. Confidentially, I'm that way about Donald Duck. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, it was so high up there. And well, I... you come right in here. There's plenty of room. Besides, if Renfrew comes back, you won't have so far to fall. Well, that's right. Yeah. Well, thank you. Welcome. I'm not used to sleeping alone. Back home, always sleep with Richard. R Richard? Yes, Richard's the cat. It's really a girl cat, but we always call it Richard. Oh, you do. Well, good night. Good night. I hope I'm not crowding the baby. Oh, no. Why, when I was his age, we used to sleep 13 in a bed. Weren't you superstitious? No, we... Good night, Miss Potter. A good night. blood in you? Why don't you go to bed? I can't sleep. It's about that baby. It's hot. What am I supposed to do? Stay up all night and fan it? Oh, it's not that kind of hot. It's been snatched. Oh, stop. Kidnapped. Oh, don't be... Are you telling me that you stole that not baby? Not me. But I'm an accomplice. Accomplice? Yeah. Do you know what that means? Yeah. 177 years. Oh. Well, what are we going to do about it? We? Include me out. We... Wait a minute. I think I've got an idea. Okay. Yeah. Good. Shh. Here. You take it from here. <laughs> Fancy. in a jam, do you? Give me a break, will you? Please. Hey, how would you like to hear the story about the three bears? Oh. <laughs> now we're going somewhere. Well, now, let me see. Once upon a time, 
There was three bears. A papa bear, a great big bear like that. And a mummy bear about that size. And a teeny weedy little bear. Well, about your size. Well, one day, they decided to go out for a little stroll. You know, just like bears always do. You understand, don't you? Sure. Well, little Goldilocks came along. Now, there was a swell girl. She had everything. You know the kind of a girl I mean, don't you? Sure you do. Well, she spots this joint over there, and she makes for it. the hitch, Superintendent? There's a flood up the valley. We've got to get these gondolas up there in a hurry or the whole town will go out. That 1600 won't make it fast enough, so I'm taking the kettle off the limit. Maybe old Paris. She, she, she ate it all up. And then she wanted to go upstairs. She went upstairs and and, uh, and she was asleep. Hey, Mike. Come on, Mike, open up. Listen, the train has stopped, and this is our chance to get the baby back to its family. How? Shh, I got it all figured out. There you are. Oh, um, what are we stopping for, Cap? We don't know yet, ma'am. Must be some trouble up ahead. Oh, I see. Well, uh, how long are we going to be here? Well, that's hard to say. The conductor's just gone up front now to find out. What you think? I just heard from the sergeant we have to lay over here for two and a half hours. Lay over? But, but we can't. Yeah, but they don't know that. Maybe I better find out what the trouble is. I know what the trouble is. I want you to go and see what you can do about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll that call train as soon as you're ready. Say, super. Is this on the level about us laying over for two hours and a half? Right, and that's figuring close, Monahan. Well, why don't you run in on the 1600? What's that supposed to be, a gag? There ain't a chance. Why ain't there? That little boiler couldn't pull that dude train in a million years. You couldn't get up enough head on that to haul a limited around the block. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Give me a farmer with a pair of arms and some shoulders, and I'll show you what's what. What's the matter with you, Mulcahy? You used to be the best smoke agent that ever had this mounted run. Maybe you're a little too old and fat. What do you mean, old and fat? I can still show you young guys a thing or two. I'll fire for you if that's all you're worrying about. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on. says he'll see you in Harrisburg. He's taking the limited in. He's taking it in? That's right. Say, there's a handy little fellow to have around the house. 
<laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, here. This is not time. Yes, but the baby's gone. Somebody's taking the baby. Somebody's taking the baby? Something wrong. Something wrong? What are you standing here for? Do something. You heard her. The baby's gone. But, 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 but where? Where? When? How? What's the difference? I demand action. Go. Call the police quickly. I'll get a message off at the next station. We pass there in a minute. Oh, wait. Wait, nothing. Go. I demand action. You don't understand. Oh, this is dreadful. Oh, look, Miss Pottle. It's awfully late. Oh, but I got tired. Oh, well, uh, try and get tired. If it isn't something, it's something Wait, else. Wait, I've got to talk to you. Talk, talk, talk. Tonight I sleep, tomorrow I talk. Please, you must listen. That baby is hot. What do I care about his temperature? Oh, oh, try and understand. Mike didn't know about it when he got the kid, but it had been kidnapped. Snatched. I, 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 kidnapped? Snitched? You, you mean you're... Then what are you standing here for? Let's stop the conductor. Don't let him send for the police. Come on. What do you think I've been trying to tell you about? <laughs> I thought it over. I changed my mind. Yeah? You what? We've decided it is better we do not call the police. Yes, you know, Miss Tremaine being such a famous person, as oh, you know. it's too late. I just put the message off. But you don't understand. I'm telling you, we do not want the police. And I'm telling you, you've got them. They get on at Harrisburg. I, 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 oh, then they can't. Oh, please, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's terrific. Sensational. Is it? I want Kachmansky solve the whole thing. That's fine. Solve what? The baby's hot, no? Yes. Snitch, no? Yes. Well, we haven't got it, so what are we worrying about? What are we worrying? That's right. <laughs> Say, how did you get in here? Why aren't you asleep? Will you please get Dr. North right away? Yes, ma'am. Come on, you better sit up and take these things off. We've got to make this thing all right.
must be something wrong. He's he's so wide awake. What's so wrong in that? But it's it's late. He he should be asleep, shouldn't he? Maybe he isn't tired. Babies are just like grown folks, and they're asleep, they wake up. Is that right? Oh, but uh, I'll stick around and make sure that he gets back to sleep. Oh, please don't close that. I had to call Mike in to open it for me. You mean that Mike came in here to open? Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. Everything is just dandy. It's a lovely bag. And uh, don't you worry about the baby, either. He, he's going to be fine. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, they all are. Gee, Harvey, I'd love to have a little fella just like that. Wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, of course. Anybody would. But on a staff doctor's salary? Why, Harvey, do you think that would make any difference to, to him? No, probably wouldn't make any difference to him. Now I still think it'd make a heck of a lot of difference to April Tremaine. Oh, listen, Harvey. I'm never going back to Hollywood again. I want to be just plain Mary Potter or Mrs. Jones or... or Mrs. Dr. North. You really mean that? Mary, you sure you know what you're talking about? I was never so sure of anything in my whole life. You come with me, I'll prove it to you. But honey, wait. I have waited. I've waited for three years, and it's much too long. Say, did I tell you that I loved you? You know, I'm not quite sure. Maybe you better tell me again. <gasps> Hello. Hello. No, 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 no. You, you snake in the bush, you double crosser. You triple crosser. Oh, no, he's not. I love him. And I love her. Now, you figure out an answer for that. It's impossible! Oh, no, it isn't. You were right, Yvonne. And I'm very grateful to you for opening my eyes. I'm going to marry Harvey. Marry? Uh-huh. I'm through with pictures. I'm never going back to Hollywood. You're quitting pictures. She's quitting pictures. So I heard. No, darling, listen, listen to me. Maybe you're tired. Huh? Maybe you're excited. Maybe you go to bed. And in the morning, I'll settle everything. Oh, huh? I'm sorry, old timer. But you see, it seems that we settled everything tonight. Toodaloo. Toodaloo? Toodaloo? <laughs> May I come in? Now what do you want? My friend, last night you told me that if you had $50,000, you could build a great clinic, a place where you can do fine things for little children. Yes, and I also told you that I didn't have the $50,000. Exactly. You have the skill, but you haven't got the money. I have the money, but not the skill. So, together... Yeah, I know. You put them all together and they spell Magnolia. No, 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 no. I, Ivan Ivansky, will give you the money. I'm going to build for you the finest clinic that money can buy. Now, look, who do you think you're kidding? Kidding? But I'm not kidding. In Hollywood, we do those things in a business-like way. I'm going to give you a contract before you leave this train. And just why are you doing all of this for me? For you? But I'm doing this for me, too. You've opened my eyes. I've been selfish, cold, perhaps... Perhaps a little bit heartless, but say, you have a nice robe. But now I see the light. Hi, Monaghan. I'm proud of your toes of the road. You know your business. I sure do. And a little bit of everybody else's. <laughs> well, good luck. Good luck to you. Hope you have a nice vacation. I think I will now. Yes.
Have you found the baby yet? Not a sign of it. Go up front, work your way back. Look everywhere. Right, Sergeant. Well, you know, maybe I've had you all wrong. Maybe. But of course you got me wrong. I assure you that... Come in. Sorry to disturb you, gentlemen, but we're looking for a missing baby. Missing baby? That's right. Well, I guess you haven't got him in here. I haven't got him. I haven't even seen you. Sorry to have troubled you. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. What do you suppose that's all about? Shh. I sent for them. You? Yes, you see, Mr. Main little adopted baby is missing. But now I've changed my mind. I wish to say nothing about it. Besides, how can I tell anything about it when I don't know what it is? <laughs> well, if you don't, I do. You know where the baby is? Oh, well, certainly. I just left him a little while ago. He's in April's room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. It's a matter of life or maybe death. Good morning, Mr. Cupid. And how do you feel? That's right. Smile. You've got something to smile about. Why, if it hadn't been for you... <gasps> Yvonne! Yeah. So it is the truth. He's here. The baby? Where should he be? At any place, any place but here. But why? Listen, darling. I'll try to tell it to you, Jimmy. Think of everything the most terrible that ever happened in your life. And this, this is worse. This baby is kidnapped. Kidnapped? But, but I thought that... You thought. I thought. Patsy thought. Only, only that big half with engineer. He, he didn't think. Ah. May I come in? Certainly come in. What are you waiting for? Good morning. <laughs> Good night. So, we haven't got the baby. So what have we got to lose, huh? Well, where did he come from? Come from, come from. Could the baby that size come from someplace? Where is she going? That's important. Now, what do we do? Oh, it's all yours. I'm fired. You're hired again. Hey, shh. Who is there? The police. Oh. Oy, 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 oy. What are we going to do? I'm leaving. How do you open a window? Quiet. Just one minute, please. We are in the conference. Now, you take care of him. Take him in there. Me? Ay, 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 ay. Now, remember your big sin, Miss Scarlet Lady? The one where the sister dies? Exactly. Of course I do, but, but... We got no time for buts. Come. Come in. But I beg of you, my darling. You, you, you shouldn't worry. Ah, oh, good morning, officer. You must excuse me, Mr. Lane. You know, it was quite a shock. Of course. I wish I had better news to report. I know, I know, but what can we do? Please, relax. Relax, my darling. Now, if I could get one or two details. Of course, of course. But please be seated. This case reminds me very much of one similar in Russia. Winter time. It was snowing. It always snows in Russia. Oh, shh. Quiet. Quiet. Shh. Who is it? It's Maureen. Good morning. Shh. It's Papa. I got you. I've just come to tell you that everything's okay. Oh, a train on full of police and everything's okay. You mean they're looking for the kid? What do you think they're looking for? Well, what's the difference? They'll never find him, because he ain't on the train. Oh, he isn't. <laughs> what do you think that is? A singer's midget? Impossible. It can't be. But it is. Yeah. Uh, who is it? The police. Oh, just a moment, please. Shh, here. Take the baby, get in there and keep quiet. Shh. Coming. Is that someone knocking? Yes, and it's no woodpecker. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's him. Who? Oh. Renfrew. Oh, uh, don't mind her officer. It's the uniform. Her uncle used to be a fireman. Oh. Yeah. Do you mind answering a few questions? Uh, not at all, Renfrew. Sit down. Where'd you leave your horse? My horse? Mm-hmm. Look, lady, all I want's a little information. Do you mind? No, I don't mind if that's the way you feel about it. <laughs> I've been listening to you for 47 weeks, but now I don't care whether you kiss her or not. Look, lady, one question. Did you kiss her? Do you mind? Oh, no, not at all. Go right ahead. What am I going to do now? What you going to do now? It's not important. Where you do it, that's the thing. And you are not going to do it here. You must go out, but quick. Hurry, please, please, hurry. Uh, 
Well, uh, I'm sorry to have troubled you, ladies. Oh, it was no trouble at all. Well, goodbye. Uh, must you go, Renfrew? Yes, he must. Well, do you think he'll be back? That's what I'm afraid of. Well, thanks very much. I haven't found a thing, sir. Well, all we can do is fill out the report. Right. Time to be laughing. Hmm. Hundred and seventy-seven years. Me so healthy. What's this we're coming to? Philadelphia. 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 That's an inspiration. What? Well, get off! Oh, but I thought we were going to New York. New York? You know, how can we go to New York with batteries of newspaper men waiting to photograph Miss Angel to remain with her adopted baby? And what happens? Her adopted baby ain't legal. It's, 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 it's kidnapped. But you said we were getting off the train without the baby. Well, listen, darling, listen. Fifty million newspaper readers know that Miss April Tremaine got on a Broadway Limited in Chicago with an adopted baby. And what are we going to tell them when we get off in New York without the baby? And what are we going to tell to the police? Well, don't forget there are police in Philadelphia, too. Shh, wait. I was afraid you weren't going to make it. I would miss it. Where's the kid? Is he okay? Everything is okay. It worked like a charm. Come on. All aboard. Stop worrying everybody. There is a solution to all this. All we have to do is to think of it. I don't know why you're all so glum and worried. Personally, I'm quite thrilled. She's thrilled yet, huh? Excuse me, please. Miss Buckle, I assure you, the electric chair is no chaise long. Besides, personally, you are not connected with the matter. I know. I just wish I were. Why, you're all heroes. Heroes? That's not what they call them in Sing Sing. Oh. Why, Miss Powell's absolutely right. Why, of course she is. Here, the whole world is searching for the baby, and we have it right here, safe and sound. Yeah. Why, this is the biggest story that ever broke. We've got it right in the palm of our hands. Of course. Why, certainly, it'll put April Tremaine on the front page of every newspaper in the world. Now, listen. Excuse me. I made up my mind. As soon as I get to New York, I'm going to surrender. Surrender? Why, Mike, you're a hero. You certainly are. Maybe the first one to shake your hand. Pleased to meet you. All right, save it, save it. Now go get the baby. When we get off this train, they'll carry us around on their shoulders. Sure, sure. Right, hurry, hurry, up. hurry, hurry up, hurry up. My friends, I've cleared up everything. Well, come in, come in, come Pardon in. Pardon me, you weren't in your compartment, so I... Thank you very much, thank you very much. You may go. <laughs> oh. And Ivansky always keeps his word. Well, nearly always. My friends, your check for $50,000. $50,000 in real money? It ain't no hay. And your contracts for the clinic. Please sign on the dotted line. Your contract for the clinic? You mean that Yvonne... That's right. You see, I didn't want to tell you until I was sure. Why, Yvonne, that's the nicest thing you've done in your whole life. Listen, what do you think? The baby's gone. Gone? gone. Yeah, when I got there, the baby was gone. Oh, but, but he must still be on the train. Exactly. Search every place. Call the conductor. Get the police. Come on, let's get going. Spread out. Search every place. Look in the lounge. I'll go this way. Oh, let me out. 
I go too? Yeah, you may go too. Oh. Pennsylvania Station, New York. Martin, sir. Pulling a fast one, huh? Give me that kid. Wait, it's a mistake. Now listen. Listen, nothing. Take it easy. Oh. So you want to play, huh? Now, listen. now, wait a minute. I ain't got no time. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Hey, Mike, where are you? I'm right in here. What's going on? Everything's taken care of. There's the kid, and these are the guys that stuck him. Now, wait a minute. Listen, you. this is a mistake, I tell you. Oh, yeah? Well, this is no mistake, you well, baby please. snatcher. Here, you gather them up, and I'll meet you on the platform. Right. Well, wait a minute, lady. You're not going anywhere with that kid. Oh, yes, she is. Oh. Thank you. Nothing. Nothing to it at all. See you later. Okay. Come on, kiddies. Come on, Trish. Come on, step right up and get a load of the greatest story that ever broke. We have the Pearson kid safe and sound, and that ain't all. We've got the kidnappers, too. The Pearson kid? Right? What do you mean, the kidnappers? Why, the Pearson kid's been home since 9 o'clock last night. You mean this isn't the Pearson baby? That's what I've been trying to tell you. That's my baby. I'm the baby's father. I'm the baby's father. You? Well, who are these two mugs? Mugs? This is my brother and brother-in-law from Philadelphia. I only let you have the baby when I heard you were going to New York. I figured I could use the $500 to have a family reunion. My relatives have never seen the baby. Oh. Well, what about the baby's mold? My baby hasn't got a mold. What do you call this? What, this thing here? Oh, dear, that's my beauty mark. I've been looking all over for it all morning. Beauty mark? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> so. Well, I guess I'd better be going. Yeah, me too. Just a moment, Miss Riley. Come on, honey, let's get out of here before something else happens. So long, Yvonne. Goodbye, Yvonne. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Maynard. Goodbye. Goodbye, children. Bye. Miss Riley, we're leaving for the cold this afternoon. Oh, uh, no more orders, my friend. I am leaving for Niagara Falls this morning. Or am I? But definitely. You, you mean you'll be happy with him? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, ay, ay, ay. She means it. I just thought of something. Where's the clinic going to be? Oh, you know, in all the excitement, I forgot to look. Mm. What's saying here someplace, though? Let's see. Party the first part says the party. Yes, here it is right here. To be located at 3685 Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood, California. Why, that's right across the street from the studio. I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you. Hello. Bye-bye. Oh, Red Fruit.